<coughs> what I have been told in my right ear by my colleague, uh, Jorge. <laughs> and um, I must say, uh, on each of the nights that I've been here to address the audience, I have felt that the people who came before me had uh, explained things and had understood things and had uh, penetrated the work uh, as well or better than I could possibly do myself. And I, I thank profoundly um, Ricardo for his, his uh, so extremely cogent uh, remarks. I mean, things that, that, that uh, inspire me to, to uh, look at the film again, to see the things that he has seen. Um, I th one of the things that Ricardo said uh, made me think that perhaps in this film, as against maybe the other two that I have shown here, or the other five that I've shown here, is that I have um, attempted, I think, in this one by not including words, by not having a commentary that is meant to inform the audience as the film went along, but had a uh, reliance on visual images and on um, audible music and sound of all kinds to make out of the audience that would see this film an anthropologist. I mean, I think in a way that I wanted everybody who saw this film to become, for the time at least, that they were looking at the film, an anthropologist in the best sense of that uh, endeavor. To seek meanings out of what they were seeing, to try to relate them to experiences of their own lives, and to find in this film a way to comprehend some pretty heady stuff. Um, I would like to go um, now to a, another uh, phrase that I heard uh, being spoken by Ricardo and translated by Jorge, uh, which you translated as traffic. Now, I'm not sure that um, that's exactly in, in my vocabulary what uh, Ricardo was saying. I think what Ricardo was referring to was movement, was it not? was uh, something always moving, you know, which is the sign of life, uh, that things move. And yes, the film um, does try to, to explain that life, which is movement, is a constant rotating kind of affair, that it, that there, that there is a generation and a regeneration, and uh, that that this is circular almost the way it happens. That things die and things then get reborn, and that things then develop, and that you know that that is the circularity of existence is what I had hoped in some way to portray uh, in the use of the images. Um, that I found in, in Benares. I'm, I'm very conscious of the fact that the, the audience has come uh, as a result of um, a lot of very um, good work done by an organization which I can't quite pronounce, but which um, sounds like docs.df. <laughs> and uh, that this is a salute, if you will, to the uh, actuality film. I like actuality better than documentary, actually, but that's another conversation. Um, and the, 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 the fact that, that the name Luis Buñuel has not, to my knowledge, come up, at least in my presence here, um, is quite astonishing to me, uh, because I always thought of him as uh, my <clears throat> cinematic father, um, my my great illuminator of how to go about trying to put, with the language of film, the um, 
important things in life. Uh, I, re I remember with uh, pride and with pleasure once having actually in his presence uh, in, re in response perhaps to a rather silly question that I asked him, um, he said, well, you know, Bob, life is not the nicest of all things. It is not the best of all places to be. And I think that accounts, it accounted for me, for his interest in the pain and struggle that goes on by human beings to be human. And that was precisely my purpose in, in almost joining the Brethren of Anthropology to seek out the meaning of, of, of life in those terms. What it took to be a human being, what it required of us, and what we were lacking in uh, certain ways of doing.